Welcome, Chris Medina. Hello. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing well, doing really well. Thank you. Welcome to Sweden. Yeah, thank you. You seem to like it here. You were here about a year ago. Yes, Is there something I was. special about this country that you appreciate? Um, the fact that they really truly appreciate me. I think that's what it is. And uh, it's also very beautiful. You know, every time I come here, I just have a fantastic time. Yeah, and sort of a music country. It is, well. it is. Uh, the Swedish are just writing, they have some of the best producers. We have Stargate in the United States, and they're just writing hits for some of the biggest artists. And right now, I just feel like they're writing songs the right way. And it's just kind of cool to be in the mix of things, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> and you are very popular here in Sweden and in Norway as well. Yes. yes. How come, do you think? Uh, I think it just, it was perfect timing. You know, it, uh, Norway and Sweden, and all of Scandinavia really, but Norway and Sweden specifically got the story that, you know, my, my life story and uh, the song at the exact same time. And I think that made for like a very potent combination. I think it hit the heart, you know. Because there's a lot of good song, great songs. Yeah. But uh, so sometimes, you know, a story attached with the text, it just hits real hard. Yeah, know? that song and your story has touched so many people all over the world. Right. Uh, and now the story is going to the screen, uh, to Hollywood, yes. to get, be filmed. Let's start just uh, by watching a little bit of that uh, movie, To What Are Words. What are words if you really don't mean them when you say them? song it became a major hit uh, about two years ago uh, when you were, after you were in an American Idol I think it was eight weeks number one in Sweden and I think 11 weeks in Norway uh, it's about your girlfriend Juliana will yes. you tell us a little bit about her for those viewers who Who's haven't heard her story right against all odds <laughs> <laughs> well see Juliana and I uh, were engaged still uh, but at the time we were two months away from getting married and then she was in a car accident and she suffered a, a traumatic brain injury and it, it was a devastating injury uh, and it changed her entire being, it changed her entire physical nature and uh, for the past four years since the accident, almost four years now, I've been helping her mother take care of her and uh, um, you know, tried out for American Idol because she and her mother asked me to and um, it was uh, it was a life changing experience completely, yeah. and uh, the thing that I became popular for, which was being by her side and 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 uh, writing a song that uh, you know connected with people, that popularity almost kind of pulled me away from that situation, and now I'm t you know touring and stuff. So, but she's gotten so much better to the fact where I actually take her with me sometimes to, to if it's if I feel like I'm away too long I have to bring her so I think the words that the, what kind of guy would I be if I left her when yeah. she needed me the most exactly really moves it does people. how's she doing today she's doing really good you know yeah with brain injuries you gotta always take it from where they started you know and where she first started after the injury since day one it was really bad yeah so now it's it's night and day different you know She's uh, semi-independent, and uh, she has her own blog. She writes, you know, every week she updates people on her life and what she's doing and what she's thinking. Yeah. And it's fun to see. How is she communicating? She's communicating really well. Yeah? Yeah, she's communicating really well. Mm -hmm. She actually uh, was telling me that um, I had some performances uh, on TV, and she was criticizing the way I was performing. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, and now th this uh, story is, is uh, going to Hollywood, if I understand it right. Yes, yeah. um, if I understand it right. <laughs> I think it actually is going to be there. Uh, there's, uh, we, we sold the rights to the story and uh, there's a, a company that's uh, making the movie and we got a fantastic director. Uh, he's making his directorial debut. He's been doing the second unit for some of the biggest motion pictures out there. His name is Greg Baldi. And he's been doing uh, Amazing Spider-Man and Iron Man and... Um, Inception, was it? No? I, I no? think it might have been Inception. I'm not sure, no. to no. be complete. I know it was tons of movies, uh, but he's been 
really aching to do this, and I'm really excited that he's a part of it because yeah. his credentials are just incredible, and his experience will be, you know, important to the movie. Yeah. What does Juliana think of all this? She's just she's just curious who's going to play her. Yeah. She, she's been looking at we have uh, all the all the famous TV shows in the United States. She's always looking at the actresses and going, "Hey, Chris, <laughs> this is the girl that I want to play me, or this is the girl that I want to play me." And does she have a favorite? She she has a few favorites, uh, but uh, we're going to leave that uh, for surprise. Yeah, you know? I understand. But, but she has a lot of, of favorites, and she's excited about it. You know, and. She's encouraged by it, and as long as she's happy with it, and I'm, and our family's happy with it, then you know, how can I not be happy with it? So, yeah. How are you getting along with all this? Because you, you know, it's a huge r responsibility on your yeah. shoulders, and yeah. you know, everybody in the world, I guess, seem to think that you are uh, yes. really the good guy. Yes, with, yes, with and you know, I, G. I mean, I, the big G, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, that's what the last two songs were about. You know. Um, You know, My Hopeless is a song that basically talks about... I don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> that basically talks about being in a situation that sometimes you don't... You definitely just want to be out of, you know. Sometimes I want to be out of this situation. But when I really think about it, it scares me uh, about being away because I don't really want to be out of this situation. So it's like I'm, I feel hopeless. Like when I think about leaving, I'm like, yeah, that's a great idea. But then when I... I'm home, and I'm like, why would I ever want to leave this? You know, this is this is home. Mm. So it's it's confusing. And then the second song was about I'm just a normal guy. You yeah. know, I'm not trying to be a saint. I'm not trying to be some brilliant person or the big G. You know, I'm just trying to be a guy who's trying to survive this situation with someone who's trying to survive her situation. Mm. You know, I I just I want the best for her. I want the best for us. And I have big dreams. Uh, I hope I'm not naive in thinking that one day she can get better and we can get married. But at the same time, you know, reality kicks in sometimes. And I think that you see that this is just such a big responsibility and such a big tragedy that it's going to take time. Yeah. And no one knows what the future holds, no. you know. But I'm still not going to leave when she needs me the most. I no. mean, that still stands, you know. I, I want to take care of her no matter what. No matter what capacity I'm involved in her life, I want to take care of her. Mm. And that's what I'll do. Thank you so much, yeah. Chris Medina, for, for uh, coming this morning. And, yeah. and uh, have a nice uh, stay in Sweden. Thank you so <laughs> much. Yeah.